Hi, my name is Officer Contreras and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. How are you feeling today? How is the weather outside? Do you wait a long time? Can I see your permanent resident card, your passport, and a form of ID? Thank you. Can you raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down. Do you fill out this application by yourself? Okay. What is your complete name? Can you spell your name for me? What other names have you used? Are you going to change your name? Okay, state your name as you would like it to be. Okay, thank you. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Can you explain to me why you're not allowed to vote? Thank you. Do you now have or do you ever had a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent and confined into a mental institution? Are you married? What is your spouse's name? When did you get married? Do you have the marriage certificate with you? Can I see it? Thank you. How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? Okay. Please hand me the documents for the divorce. Thank you. Thank you. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Do you file your taxes this year? Please hand me your tax return from the last three years. Thank you. I can see here the you owe taxes from last year, but you have a payment arrangement. Do you have the documents of the payment arrangement? I also need to see a bank statement that reflects the payments you're making to the payment arrangement. Do you have those? Oh, thank you. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? Okay, give me one minute.
¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. What is your date of birth? Okay. And where were you born? Can I see your birth certificate, please? This includes the English translation. Okay. Thank you. What is your current address? Okay. How long have you lived at this address? Do you have any uh, proof of address? Can I see it, please? Thank you. Okay, I see. Thank you. What is your previous address? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way either directly or indirectly with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, Badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose. Forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations. Not letting someone practice his or her religion. What is genocide? Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit. Paramilitary unit police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? How long have you been a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Okay. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prisoner jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, organization, they use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so. Do you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? What is a weapon? Do you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Okay. What are your children's names and their ages? Okay. Okay. Do you have your uh, the birth certificate for your children? Can I see them? Thank you. Okay. What is your relationship with your children? Do 
Do you have any children that live outside of the United States? Are they minors? Do you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? What were you cited for? Do you have the tickets with you? I need to see proof that you already paid those tickets. Thank you. Have you ever been charged with committed, attempting to commit, or assisted in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Okay, thank you. Where do you work? How long have you worked at uh, this place? And what are some of your job duties? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunker, been a prostitute or anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling, fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Okay, have you traveled out of the United States since you submitted your application? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you go? And who traveled you? When did you return from this trip? Okay, I see. In the last five years, how many trips have you taken out of the United States? Okay. On any of these trips, have you spent more than six months in a year outside of the United States? In the last five years, how many total days have you spent outside of the United States? Okay. Why do you want to become a United States citizen? That's a great answer. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefit while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? A removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Okay. Are you a male who live in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthday? Can I see proof of the enrollment for the Selective Service? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to ask you 10 civic questions. You need to answer six correct to approve this portion of the interview. First question, what is the political party of the president now? What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? 
If both the president and vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? What is freedom of religion? What did the Declaration of Independence do? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Name one U.S. territory. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Okay, you approve this portion. Now we're going to do the reading and writing test. Can you please read the following sentence? Okay, can you please write the following sentence? Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Okay, congratulations, you also approved this portion. Now please answer yes or no to the following questions. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the food oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the food oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires that, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires that, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires that, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.